What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, after we place the sprinklers inside our building, so the next exercise is we're going to create a piping system. So we will be doing the initial piping layout for our building. So we are going to create a wet sprinkler system and add piping to connect the sprinklers that we have placed. Okay, so a system is the logical connection between system components such as sprinklers. So this logical connection allows Revit MEP to perform various analysis including flow and pressure. So you create the fire protection systems by placing the sprinklers like what we did last exercise and then creating the logical connection between these system components. So after creating the logical connection, so we are going to use the layout path tools to create the initial layout for the piping. Then we simplify the layout using modify tools from our generate layout tab which you will be seeing later on to modify the pipe branches prior to converting the layout to piping. Okay, so this is the recommended workflow or best practice for system creation in Revit MEP. Okay, right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is let's uh, watch the system browser. So let's go to the system browser. You will notice here on the piping, we only have three systems here. So we have the domestic cold water, the domestic hot water, and then the sanitary that we have done earlier this uh, earlier in this series of video. So this time, we're going to add another system here, which is our fire protection system. Okay, so right now, I only have three. So if I'm going to zoom into this part here, if I click this sprinkler here, you will notice that it is part of the unassigned system. So basically, these sprinklers that I have here is unassigned. So it's not yet part of any piping system. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect our sprinklers with the system. Okay, so how to do that? So after I select these sprinklers, so from the create systems, so there is the piping tool here. Okay, so it opens the create piping system dialog where you can specify the system type and the system name. So I'm going to select this. And then here you can specify the name of your system. So let's say I'm going to call this one as, uh, let's say, since this is zone 2, I'm just going to call this FP uh, wet underscore zone 2. Okay, so as you can see, the system type here is only wet because the connector of these sprinklers is wet uh, sprinkler connector. So that's why that's the system type that we are going to create here. So this is a fire protection wet. So that's the system name that we want. So I'm just going to select your OK and take note what will happen here on our system browser. Once I select your OK, so you will notice that it will now become spore. And then these sprinklers that I currently selected is now part of your system. So if I'm going to expand that, so you'll be able to see now here our system and then the sprinklers that is added to that particular system. Okay, so it's now part of the system. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to generate the layout. So the generate layout feature is available whenever a system component is selected. Any element that is part of the system. So any of these sprinklers, you just need to select that. So let's say this one, I already selected that. Then on the layout panel, you can see here generate layout. So let's click this one. There you go. And then right off the bat, there is already some solution type that Revit offers. But before that, let us just do some checking. So let's go to the settings. And then on my main pipe, okay, there's my main pipe. So this is the settings for my main pipe. So the pipe type is uh, fire protection wet. And then the offset here is 9 feet. So the offset elevation places the pipe 
main at 9 feet above level 2 because we are on level 2. Okay, so that is our offset for the main pipe. So 9 feet and then this is the pipe type. And then for the branch, so the branch offset allows you to automatically create branches that run above or below the main and other obstacles. Okay, so I'll just make sure that it's also 9 feet and also the same pipe type, which is uh, pipe types, fire protection, wet. So I'll just need to select here, okay. Okay, so next is I'm going to specify here the source of my uh, fire protection pipe. Okay, so it places a base in the system to establish a source or an outlet for flow. So I want to specify the base here. Okay, so let me just select place base to provide a source for the fire protection system. So let's say I want to put it somewhere here. So I'm just going to click here. And there you go. Now I want to change the diameter of my uh, base there. So instead of 6 inches, I just want to make that uh, 2 inches. Okay, so 2 inches. And then for the offset, I'm just going to make this 12 feet. Okay, so when the layout is finished, these settings will convert the base component to a 2 inches riser that extends from the bottom of level 1 up to the connection with the level 2 sprinklers, which is 9 feet. Okay, so let's do this. So after I modify the base, so let us now go to the solution and let us select some of the solution here. So... So we have here network, so we have perimeter, so we have intersection. Okay, for this one, I want to use the network. And then for the network, we have six solution. So what I want here is this one. So I want the five of six network. And then I want this pipe here, this main pipe. The blue ones are the main pipe. The green pipes are the branch pipe. Okay, so I want this main pipe to be moved somewhere here so you can still edit your layout here by selecting edit layout just click that one and then i'm going to click this pipe here hold control and then i'm going to click this pipe as well and then this pipe as well and then you see that arrow there so i can click and drag that above so let's say i just want my pipe to be somewhere here okay so once you do that, so you are now ready to finish the layout. So I click finish layout and let's, uh, let us wait and there you go. So there's now my uh, layout. So let us have this check on the 3D view. So let's click 3D fire protection. Let's double click that and there you go. So there's now the layout that we just created. So there's the base and then these are the pendant pipe. Okay, there you have it. Okay. Right, on our next video, after this one, we are going to complete the level 2 wet fire protection system. So we are going to add the remaining sprinklers to the current wet system to logically connect them. And then you create the piping to physically connect them. I'm talking about these sprinklers here. These remaining sprinklers, we're going to connect that to our system here. Okay, so basically that's how you create a piping system for your fire protection. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.